mini glossary, we're going to look at some of the key words you'll hear in a ballet class, starting with a ballet bar. So that takes us to our very first word, bar. Your bar is what you hold on to during the first few exercises of your class. It's spelled B A R R E. And it's usually wooden with two legs, or you might have a long beam that's nailed into one of the walls. Our first exercise at the bar after our warm up is usually our plies. A plie is where you bend both knees and then stretch them. You can also have a grand plie, where you go further down, lifting the heels up slightly before you come back up. A plie can be in any of the positions, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, or even parallel. Our next exercise at the bar is called a batman tonji, or sometimes just called tonjis for short. A batman tonji involves brushing the foot across the floor until the foot is pointed and then closing it back in again. A tonji can be done in any direction and it could come from any positions of the feet as long as the toes maintain contact with the floor and the knees are stretched. Our next exercise at the bar might be about monglisse or about mongete. They're both quite similar. Instead of the word jete, you might also hear degage. So a glisse is very similar to about montonju in that the leg is straight and it moves to the side. However, a glisse just comes off the floor by about a couple of centimetres in that. So it's quite a dynamic movement going out and then back in. A jete or a degage come 45 degrees off the floor. So very similar to a glisse in that it's dynamic and the legs stay straight, but it goes a bit higher. Again, this can be done in any position of the feet and in any direction. Typically, the next exercise of the bar is called a rond de jambe. A rond de jambe means circle of the leg or round of the leg. And this is where one leg draws a semicircle on the floor. So you can either go on de or or on de dom with this, brushing through first position and then with a pointed foot circling the leg around. Or on de dom would be the reverse of this. You can do a grand rond de jambe, which means a big rond de jambe, and this involves the arm. So that's a grand rond de jambe en dehors, and a grand rond de jambe en dedans would look like this. Next up, you might hear the word fondue, or batman fondue is the full word. A fondue involves a bend on your supporting leg whilst the working leg does something else. So the working leg could really be doing anything else, but if the supporting leg is bent, it's called on a fondue. However, a back on fondue is a whole exercise involving bending the knees and stretching them. So you could have a fondue to a releve, you could have a fondue extend to the front, you can have a fondue with a cloche. So it's instead of two knees being bent like a plie, it's just one knee. Next at the bar, you'll hear that on frappe. Frappe in French means to strike. So this is quite an aggressive, dynamic exercise. Typically where the foot is flexed, and then it brushes against the floor to a pointed foot. So this could go in any direction, but it goes from a retracted position to an extended leg. You could do a double frappe or a beaten frappe. So that's going to go back front before it goes out again. Then you might hear rond back 
We've heard the word battement before, which is our two legs extending and closing. A grand battement is an exaggerated version of this, so the leg is going to come off the floor. So a grand battement is where we lift the legs nice and straight, either front, side or back. At the bar you might also do an adage. An adage is an exercise where we do slow movements, usually decapes or omnipes, or maybe a slow button off the floor. A releve is a rise where we go from two bent knees to our demi point and then back down into a, into a plie. An eleve is a rise where we go up on straight knees and lower on straight knees. Demi point is where we rise up, so we have our toes pressing into the floor but the heels lifted. On point is where we have special shoes called point shoes and you'll go right up onto the tips of your toes. But please don't try this without point shoes and without training and a teacher with you there to guide you because it can be dangerous without training. A coup de pied meaning neck of the foot, is a position where the big toe touches the ankle bone. A coup de pied devant, meaning front, could be at the front of the ankle. A coup de pied derrière is at the back. A coupe is the action of the foot, going from a closed position to a coup de pied position and back down. You could also change where you close, so you can start at the front and close at the back. A retire is where we draw the leg up to the knee and close back down. Again, you could say passe, going up to the knee and closing behind. A développe starts with a retiro, drawing the leg up to the knee, and then the leg extends to the front and closes. An enveloppe is the reverse of this move. Extending the leg and bringing it in. You could do this in any direction. And you could also do a putty double pay or a putty on the pain in small, where you're just going to the ankle bone instead of the knee. En croix means in the shape of a cross. We would typically do a lot of exercises en croix, meaning that you'll do a certain movement to the front and then you'll repeat that movement to the side, to the back, and to the side again. If you imagine you have paint on your working leg, your supporting leg is one arm of the cross, and then this paint that we're drawing draws the front, the other arm, and the lower parts of the cross on the floor. Devant means front and derriere means back or behind. So a tonji devant would be a tonji front and a tonji derriere would be a tonji to the back. En avant means forwards, so perhaps moving forwards. En arrière is the reverse, backwards, so you might do something moving back. A détourné is the half turn at the bar, typically where we start in a plié, we squeeze the feet together in a relevé on demi point, the heels brush past each other as we pivot around, so you end up with the other foot in the front, and we've done a half turn. A piqué means to prick, so a bat on piqué would be a light prick of the toe before you close. This could be done in any position. Not to be confused with a PK turn, it should be in the centre and turning on one leg. Plosh means bell and involves the leg swinging forwards and backwards. So a back one plosh, you might have the leg going forwards, backwards, forwards and close. Centre work. Centre work is where we come away from the bar and we do work in a big space, not holding on to anything. So this typically happens after your bar work when you're not warm. Your stand.
standing leg is the leg that you stand on that supports you while you dance, and your working leg is the leg that does the movement whilst being supported by the standing leg. You could also call your standing leg your supporting leg. So it's an exercise where we move the arms from one position to another. It's typically quite slow and soft. A ton lié is a linking step where we point the foot, we bend both knees, and then we point the other foot. And you could do this in any direction. Pointing the leg to the back while stretching the arms. The first arabesque is where the arm that's front matches the leg that you're standing on. So I've got my left arm in front because I'm standing on my left leg. This is quite an elongated shape. However, the second arabesque is where the opposite arm to the front leg comes forwards and it's more of a boxier shape. So it's less elongated like the first arabesque. And then the third arabesque is a combination of the two. One arm is lifted just above the eye line, and one arm is just below the shoulders. An arabesque at tear is an arabesque where the toe touches the floor. An arabesque on the leg is where the leg is lifted. And an attitude arabesque is an arabesque with the knee bent, ever so slightly bent. An attitude de bon would be lifting the leg to the front with a bent knee. A padabore is a linking step, typically where we step behind, we step to the side, and then we close front. You could do this continuously behind, side, front, behind, side, front. We could do a picked up padabore where we pick the toes up. Or we could do a weaving kind of array where the back foot comes front and then the front foot goes back. A chasse meaning to chase. So we're going to bend both knees, slide the feet apart, and squeeze them together. We could do a chasse to the side or a chasse on area. You could also do a chasse ensemble. Chasse ensemble. A soutenu is a kind of turn on two feet on any point. And you can do a PK soutenu, which would be stepping into this. So a typical soutenu starts and end. We rise up onto any point, and then we pivot around switching feet. It's an extension of the dead tourne we do at the bar, where a soutenu is a full turn compared to the half turn in a dead tourne. A pirouette is a kind of turn taking off from two feet. And you could do a pirouette en dehors, which means turning outwards. A pirouette en dedans, which means turning inwards. Or you could do a pirouette from fifth position, from fourth position, or from second position. A bore is when we do the fast little steps of the feet up on any point. A balance is a kind of waltz where we go to the side, up, down, side, up, down. We could also go forwards in a balance or backwards. A glissard is linked to the word glissé that we looked at at the bar, but it's a kind of jump where you will bend, brush one leg, brush the other, and close. So we're always staying low in this jump, not bending, not stretching the knees. Changement is a changing of the feet, or changer, you might hear. So a tendu changer is changing of the feet in a tendu. A changement is a jump where we switch the feet before we land. A seesaw is a kind of jump where we travel in the air either slightly to the side or forwards and backwards whilst the legs 
leave the floor at the same time and we close on two feet. So for example, this would be a seesaw to the side and I change the feet. This would be a seesaw traveling forwards and this would be a seesaw on our rear, coming backwards. A PK seesaw me, we start with a pointed foot and you will find you and step in to your tap. A reverence is what we do at the end of the class to say thank you to the teacher and perhaps the pianist. And this typically involves one gesture to the pianist, one gesture to your teacher, or if you're on stage, one to the orchestra and one to your audience, and 